slight change of plan. <laughs> I've moved to Bangkok. <laughs> There's actually quite a few reasons why, in fact as you've seen in the title, there are five reasons why I've moved to Bangkok and I'm going to explain exactly all of those reasons in this video. So stay tuned and let's get to know this city because it's going to be our home for the next four to eight weeks. So let's start with the first reason why and that is fitness. Yes, or specifically losing weight. You see this little fat belly here? This stresses me out. I don't like it. <laughs> That's what you get when you drive a motorbike all day, every day, and then basically drink beer and eat Thai fast food for a diet. And as much as I love life on the road, the one thing that it is extremely detrimental towards is my health and my, my weight. So at the beginning of this series, way back when I started my channel in January last year, so this time last year, I was 72 kilograms. And then by the time I hit the road, I was 75. And then by the time I got to Isan, I was 80. And then I weighed myself in Bangkok and I was 81 kilograms. So almost 10 kilograms in weight. And, you know, I've lost weight during the trip and I put weight on during the trip, but there's a definite like steep incline towards getting fat and just like most people and I'm sure you listening you get affected by weight gain you know you might be thinking you're not fat Paddy I am I just I I, I point the camera up here and I look really handsome right <laughs> but if I was like this yeah welcome to next level adventures that's exactly how I feel sometimes so that's why I chose the building that I'm living in because it actually has direct access downstairs to a beautiful park here in the middle of Bangkok on the Sukhumvit Road and it's a gorgeous gorgeous little small green space it's got a nice lake in the middle and beautiful flowers and just people running around the, the park they have little workout areas where people exercise they have like a gym where guys are doing bit weights and things and um, it's just a really nice atmosphere and it's bang in the middle of Sukhumvit so you don't hear all the noisy traffic and you feel like you're in a really serene place even though there's a lot of building work and office buildings all around it's it's really beautiful and so every morning before I go to breakfast I'm going to be doing runs I'm going to be doing exercise in the morning before breakfast I'll eat a healthy breakfast I'll eat a small healthy lunch and um, dinner I'm going to just basically obviously losing weight the most important thing is tracking your food not eating cheese and Thai food and drinking beer every day, really concentrating on what, what I'm eating as well as working out. And in the evenings, I've joined a gym. <laughs> yeah, this is my gym, Jet's 24 Hour Fitness. They had a cheeky little discount, so I booked a month here. And the reason why I booked here, by the way, even though my building has a perfectly good gym, and I will be using that in the mornings, as well as the park we were just at, but the reason why I booked here was it was cheap, and they do evening classes, group classes, and when I was working out in Chiang Mai, that's how I lost loads of weight, because in a group situation, doing classes like body combat, body pump, even Zumba, even dancing, I just found myself really pushing myself because there's other people around you especially the spinning the bike rpm class that's when the weight just fell off me because i was doing one or two classes every night during the week you know being the only phalang in the class as well i had to stand up for the phalang so i had to work out even faster do as much weight as possible and even you know shake my booty even that much harder during zumba class just to prove a point because i'm crazy competitive <laughs> and even in the gym when everyone's here to lose weight together and have fun I kind of have a different mentality, which is I have to be the one sweating the most. I have to be the one working out the hardest and putting in way more effort. And, you know, looking at people who are like, basically being lazy and say, come on, love, look at me, soaked, right? Step your game up. <laughs> Does anyone else do that in the gym or is it just me? Let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna go in there and do my uh, first ever group class, body combat. <laughs> And the second reason is, I have a lot more provinces to travel to. 
and there are plenty of provinces in and around the Bangkok area. So on the weekends, we're going to be colouring in some of those provinces and seeing more of this beautiful country. Otherwise, this is going to take us 10 years. <laughs> I was looking at the map and what provinces we still have left and this is where I've changed my mind. Other than Phuket, there's two areas of Thailand that we still need to travel. There are the eastern provinces which are places like Ranong and uh, Trat and places where they have Koh Chang, Pattaya and the provinces that wrap around near Cambodia. That's eastern Thailand and we still need to go there. And then there's also the provinces in and around Bangkok. There's about 10 or 15 provinces in that area and they're all reachable from here in Bangkok within an hour or two, especially on Dreamy. Some of them I can just nip to on the weekend, which is my plan. My plan is Monday to Friday, I'm going to be exploring and filming videos about Bangkok. And then on the weekends, I can nip onto Dreamy or sometimes just nip on the BTS and go to some of the provinces really close to Bangkok. And originally I was going to do the east first and then come to Bangkok, but I just, with Dreamy being not ready yet and also still being a little bit fatigued, I don't need to go on another big crazy eastern road trip. I can wait a little bit, do Bangkok now, re-energize even more and also, it's not boiling hot this time of year and Bangkok is beautiful, trust me. Right now, Bangkok is primo. <laughs> oh. Right, the third reason why I moved to Bangkok is to get some sort of routine and lifestyle. Sorry, that guy, that guy was being a bit weird a second ago. Uh, it seems like he's leaving. This is Bangkok. This is filming in Bangkok. It's noisy, it's sweaty, and there's random people everywhere. Anyway, I want to reinstill a little bit of routine and enjoy a bit of a lifestyle, a normal lifestyle. You see, before I... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you see, before I left Chiang Mai, I was a teacher. I was a primary school teacher. And so my life was very routine, from the routine schedule that I had to teach every single week the same classes to my, you know, beautiful students, to evening classes in the gym, to weekends going around the mountains and just relaxing, getting a massage on a Sunday, watching the football down the pub. The same thing over and over, which actually, now that I've been on the road for nine, maybe ten months, I really miss having a routine. I miss knowing where I'm gonna be at what time on what day and that just all goes out the window when I'm on Dreamy and at first I loved it but I do miss having a routine is that weird but it is strange to me so I was excited to come to Bangkok so that I have a structured week I'm still very fluid and I'm still extremely flexible and I can change my mind on a flip of a coin it's not like I have to go to work at a certain time or my manager is gonna bollock me or I'm gonna get fired if I don't turn up. I can still do what I want and go where I want, but I've come to Bangkok to reinstill routine and lifestyle. And when it comes to lifestyle, it's the little things that I miss. When I'm on the road, you know, it's, it's a great lifestyle, don't get me wrong, but you know, it's so nice to be able to unpack and actually put your t-shirts on a hook and put them in a wardrobe and even iron them. Like I'm actually having the time of my life ironing my shirts putting them in the wardrobe, having a new pair of clean trainers or sneakers, and just having a bit of normality and a bit of a life because rock and roll on dreamy province by province, as fun as that is, I do miss the little things like a nice clean pressed iron fresh t-shirt. <laughs> And the next one, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea filming so close to the main road. It's so noisy. But this is my first time filming a vlog in Bangkok and I clearly don't know what I'm doing. So bear with me. But the fourth reason why I moved to Bangkok is to grow the channel. Because let's face it, Bangkok as a term, as a search term on YouTube, as a keyword, as a general thing that people are interested in, and where people are based and where my audience probably lives uh, or, or a, quite a large section of has more of a draw than say 
Payao. It's more keyword friendly than say Utaradit. And it certainly has a lot more going on than Sisaket. <laughs> Sorry, Sisaket. Okay, I do enjoy your province, I promise. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get. And so, yeah, I think I can grow the channel here. There's also a lot of other YouTubers that I really like and that I follow and that I've already emailed and sent messages to asking if they want to make videos together and collab. You know, that's what YouTubers do apparently, they collab. So expect to see videos with, you know, other YouTubers that live in Bangkok and know a hell of a lot more about this city than me. Like not filming next to Sukhumvit when there's a noisy bus flying down the street. Um, it's alive and well Bangkok. I just, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm normally out in a field with Dreamy and all I have to worry about is a buffalo hitting me. But now there's all this. Right, that was amazing. That was my first class and uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And I'm, my fitness is actually quite good. Anyway, let me tell you the last thing, the last reason why I moved to Bangkok. But let me go home, have a shower, eat some food, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, and the fifth and final reason why I moved to Bangkok. Oh, sorry, I'm just watching these guys play this basket game. You know, they have a little ball and it's a basket, but they do like the most incredible bicycle kicks and amazing volleys. I don't know how they don't pull their hamstring. I mean, I'll check this out. Oh, Jesus Christ, right? Anyway, the final reason is I really want to get to know Bangkok. I know it sounds stupid, but if you asked me a couple of weeks ago about Bangkok, I would have told you Koh San Road, the bus station, the train station, the airport, and uh, Central Festival. That's it. I haven't really been a person that was massively in love with Bangkok, if I'm honest. But everybody seems to say it's the best city in the world. And just here when I was at Christmas and I spent the week here and I just fell in love with it, I, I, I understood. I finally got in the frequency of Bangkok and could see what people were talking about. The first time I ever came to Bangkok, I got scammed at the airport, scammed on the taxi and scammed by all sorts of people <laughs> and because I have to film and share Bangkok with you it'll mean that I'll get to know it more because actually I find that making vlogs makes me discover more of the place I'm in but by the end of this mini trip to Bangkok in two months or in four weeks or however long I stay here I should have really got to know this city in fact I'm making it my, my priority is to really get stuck into Bangkok anyway I've moved to Bangkok, that's five reasons why. Thanks for watching, see you soon. And uh, more to come from Bangkok. Bye.